Right, here is my 5.5 gallon Pico Reef. I've had it set up since December of 2014, so about five months now. I'm running an AquaClear 50 and the 10 gallon filter from PetSmart that came with the tank. I bought it at a Black Friday sale last year. I'm running Purigen and a sponge in the 50 and carbon in the 10. I run these GU10 lights. They're three by ones with uh, two blues and one white on each. They give off good color, but the light's been off and I've been using this current marine orbit light for uh, moonlight. I just decided to turn it on and do a video. So, um, yeah. So I got these star polyps. They're closed up right now because I just turned the light on and they've been pissed at me because I got a zoanthid eating nudibranch infestation. So I wanted to uh, dip them because I saw the nudibranch, the big one, the first one that I found come off of that colony one day. So I dipped them and then they started peeling and got really bad looking and I thought they were dead, but in the past week they've started to open back up again slowly. The frog spawn was the second coral that I got. I got it with one little head on it. It has now split to three heads and it has the buds on it. Then there is a small feather duster, it looks like, below it that's popped up out of nowhere in the past month. I have these Aikens, like orange and purple. The camera doesn't pick up the color real well, but you can see they have all these little new polyps in the last couple months that have been growing. It's pretty cool to see that do that. The candy cane coral is the newest coral to me, so... Yeah, I'm still figuring that out. It's pretty easy, but um, then the uh, the eagle eye zoanthids, I think they're called. I I they've lost a lot of their green, bright green color on their tentacles. It's turned kind of brown. So I ordered a uh, magenta light, like the lights above, so that I could try and bring some green back. I just read and saw that. Magenta would bring greens out in zoanthids, so decided I'd give that a shot. I got these. I don't even know what kind. I think they're supposed to be dragon eyes or something like that, but I got that colony. They've been growing a lot. And then my Montipora, and under these GU10s, it's got excellent growth. The color is not the best, but it does have great growth. It barely covered the frag plug, and now it's hanging down off it. So that's only in the past couple months. But everything in the tank's going good so far. This rock has totally covered in coralline now, just since December. It started to move up to this rock, and there's barely any over here. But I also have a little yellow clown goby. There he is. I had a skunk cleaner shrimp, but. I made the mistake of not rinsing the zoa frags well enough before putting them back in the tank after the bear dip, and he died a couple hours after that, after I left home. But other than a little bit of algae and a little bit of cyano, the tank is doing really well. Um, it's been a couple days since I did a water change. I do two water changes a week, two one-gallon changes a week, and I pick algae off and clean cyano up. So I'm able to keep the tank pretty well like that. My water parameters right now are zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and zero nitrate. Um, it took several months to get zero nitrate, but I'm just keeping up with it. and It's working out well for me. So thought I'd do a quick video. I was watching some videos online. Thanks for watching.